Hi everyone, it's Melanie from jarofstrides.com and I'm back with a process video for a scrapbook traditional layout 12 by 12 thing, whatever. Uh, here I'm showing you all the pictures I want to scrap and I'm trying to decide which one I want to go for first and I've decided to go for a picture from our wedding. Um, we had two weddings, uh, one in the UK with just our friends around us and we had another one in France later on and this picture is from our uh, wedding in London. So I'm starting by cutting down a piece of watercolor paper. It's A3 watercolor paper so it's uh, 11 and 3 quarter, 11 inches and 3 quarter um, wide by uh, 16 or something like that. So it's not quite 12 by 12, that's okay. And sorry, it's going to be quite blown out until I realize it's very white. And I'm trying to match the color, so I know I want to go for green, uh, blue, li light green, a light blue, and some uh, pink and oranges, or oranges, orange. And so I've taped my um, piece of watercolor paper and I'm mixing my watercolors. I've uh, sprayed some water with my um, sprayer before you've just seen and here I'm mixing uh, some colors and those are my nice watercolors. Um, so they're, they're, they're quite pretty. And here you can see me blowing on them to make them move a little bit. And then I'm using a bit of tissue to change the look of things. And I could tell you the colors if you're interested. Um, this one is Prussian blue. Before the color was a mix of uh, phthalo, turquoise and lemon yellow, I think, or Kenyan yellow, I'm not quite sure. And this one is permanent rose. And I'm being very careful to uh, put colors next to each other that are going to mix nice <coughs> and in the colors that I want. For example, if you put uh, pink and green next to each other, when they meet, when they, they, when they touch each other, they will make a brown. Um, if I put pink and... Um, um, blue next to each other, they're going to make a purple, which I'm fine with. If you like brown, just put pink and green next to each other, but, um, yeah. And uh, the, the, the orangey color was permanent rose and lemon yellow, I think. And I'm drying that with my heat gun, heat tool thing, thing that makes and here you can see me removing the tape so I can and pulling on the thing. Um, if you don't want your paper to buckle so much, you could always uh, wet it and um, how can I say and tape it when it's still wet. There are some special tape and and some special things you can do to paper so that it doesn't buckle so much. Um, but it's too much work, really. And here you can see me doing some splashes. Um, um, I have splatters, splashes, splatters. Um, I use the same colors. I use the same orange, the same green, the same blue, the same pink. And I really liked how it turned out. It's very, very, uh, how can I say, subtle colors. I can't find my words this morning. And here I'm trimming it down a little bit because it wasn't centered enough to my liking, so I'm trimming it down to 11 and a half, I think, by 11 and a half. And that's the leftover um, watercolor paper, that, the piece I trimmed. So it was perfect for my picture, for a mat, so I'm going to use that. And I should really be saying something. I could talk about my wedding or about the story about my dress. I bought this dress the day before uh, we got married um, because it was not the proper wedding. It was just a civil, like 
civil wedding. If you marry in France, you need to have a civil wedding before you can marry in the church. Um, and uh, we were going to have a, a church wedding in France, but um, we had to get married first uh, in front of a registry. Um, I, I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, um, this one didn't really count, so I didn't have a dress, and then all my dresses and nice stuff was black. <laughs> so the day before the wedding, uh, I went out and bought a white dress for like, 50 pounds or something like that. Anyway, I'm going through all my papers, and that is all my papers. So I don't have much paper at all. Um, and nothing really that I like a lot. It's just stuff that I bought on on special and, you know, days that you're not feeling too good about yourself and you buy something and then you're like, why did I buy that again? <laughs> so, yeah, um... I'm going through all my papers and I've set aside a few that I think might work. And I really want to use these um, roses. Those are scraps. I have no idea where they're from, which collection. Um, I bought them when I made an album for my mum. Uh, and so I have no idea. It's been like too long. And here I'm going to cut some out because I want to use as much as I can of the paper and I want to mat to do some layers uh, behind my picture like that and I like cutting the the, um, the 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 corner at an angle I don't know I find it 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 deals with the problem of the weird um, negative space, a weird white space you get sometimes uh, when you layers when you do layers of of pattern paper behind your picture. I find I don't need to put so many embellishments in the where the paper stop. Does that make sense? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. I find that if I cut them at an angle, they're decorated enough. I'm doing that again, and in some way it fa it's fairly similar to my previous layout, which I'm fine with. That's a style that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, <coughs> and here I realize I put my tape on the wrong side of the paper. Never mind. I was distracted by my son, I think, at this point. And I'm going to put it down in the corner. And here I'm turning that the how I want the colors to flow in the background. And here I decided I wanted to add some of, some of this washi tape. Uh, it's very subtle. It's uh, You cannot really see it. Sorry about my head. You cannot really see it only if you're looking at the page closely. And I've taken a few embellishments out. I've made a few flares, which I'm quite pleased with. And I'm going to use them on this page. Here I'm thinking, do I want this pink? No, I don't want this pink. It doesn't work at all. And I'm going, I'm going to go for the silver um, stickers, letters. I know it doesn't stand out as well as the gold would have stood out, but so here you can see me. Here I'm, I'm taking the gold out to check the the contrast. And but my dress had a silver. Um, silver thread in it. It was white with stripes of silver. So I really wanted the silver more than the gold. And all rings are um, oh, palladium, something like that? Palladium. Yeah, pa something. Palladium, I think that was. So it's a silvery kind of color. So it makes more sense for us to have a silver letters. Does that Maybe it's just, you know, my weird brain. And for the title, I, I was trying to decide what I wanted for because that's the day after the what I've shown, shown what was on before anyway um and I decided to say to go with say I do which is like the ABBA song I know I've got some weird musical references and uh, I'm, I'm brand new at using flares so I'm never quite sure I'm, I'm not quite sure where to put them um this one I think I'm going to put at the top yeah with the 
smile or beautiful smile thing. I think that was a Kaiser Craft collectibles that I bought ages ago, and I can never use the, them because the colors never quite match whatever I'm using. And yeah, um, some hearts that I've cut out with my uh, paper smelt paper smooches smelches paper smooches. Um, die that I showed you in my haul two or three videos ago, something like that. And I'm going to go with those um, epoxy glitter stickers dots thing. They match, they're the same collection as uh, Say I Do, so they match fairly well. They're a bit more golden than um, the letters, but um, I'm fine with that. And here I try, I'm trying to decide. I, 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 tr I tried the pink. Um, Hero Arts, I can't remember what name it is exactly, but it was too pink. I'm going to try it on the side and decide that it's not going to work. It's not the right pick. Even on second generation stamp, it's not working. Sorry, it's a bit blown out. And so I go for Color Theory from Studio Calico in Lime, I think it's called, and I go for a second generation, second and third, and it's just fine, it matches the flowers at the top. And here I wanted to put it in my frame that I bought from um, Big Box Store, and one of my problem is, it's not quite 12, 12 by 12, it says 12 by 12, but it's not. When I put it on my paper, it's actually like 11 and 3 quarter. Um, so I'm going. I'm deci uh, I decide that I want to go ahead with that. So I'm going to uh, mat my watercolor paper on some uh, green, limeish kind of green uh, cardstock, and I'm going to center that. And for once, I managed to center my cardstock quite well. Usually, it's off kilter. And yeah, and now it's when the iPad fell off its stand and broke the frame. So that's the day after I tried to glue it and, and repair it, but uh, and the frame is rubbish anyway. The the it's not working out for me. So I decided to take it out, throw the frame out, and mount the or mat the this green thing on another piece of paper, on another 12 by 12 piece of paper. And you're going to see me, um, I've, I've went out and bought some pink cardstock because I didn't have any. So I've got a few and here you see me, I hesitated between the two um, that I'm showing you there and I decided to go for the more orangey one. It's not as orange as the, the video is showing it. It's it's quite close to the colors I've got on my layout, and because there's very little, like there's one eighth of an inch on all, on on all sides, I decide to just uh, lining with the bottom right corner to line it with the bottom right corner, and here I can I'm showing you a little bit of a close up. So yeah, I re I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really love the background. Um, <clears throat> maybe a bit too many splatters, but mm, I'm fine with it. Um, no, I, I'm really happy. It's one of those few layouts that I'm pleased with. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.